All right, guys, today I start the ultimate side quest and I want you to join me. Now, this is no ordinary side quest. This is the road to a 300 kilogram Zercher squat. If you're unfamiliar with the Zercher squat, they are the nastiest, filthiest squat variation you can do. Now, my current PR is 280 kilos. Over the next eight to 10 weeks, I am aiming to hit 300 kgs. I'm gonna bring you on this journey. We're gonna get this done. Let's go, baby. Come on! Let's get it, baby. And action. Jack, can you come to action? Go. Action. Action. And welcome back to your mum's favorite channel on YouTube cult strength it is squat day today but it's not a normal squat day as you would know it okay now if you've been following along for a little while you know i have this big goal of uh doing a back squat with 420 kilograms okay and if you've been following you will know that i hurt myself two months ago i tore my adductor which is a muscle high up in the groin and it's made squatting very difficult and very frustrating for the last couple months so i've taken two steps forward three steps back you know i've kind of hurt it again a little bit so I'm kind of left with this choice. And that choice was, do I just have a break from squatting? Give it a few months and come back and see how it is. Or do I do Zercher squats? And uh, you know, I have a side quest. I've had a side quest for a while and that is a 300 kilogram Zercher squat. That is a big, big Zercher squat. If you're not familiar with a Zercher squat, it is a very painful yet freeing variation of a squat where you hold the barbell in your arms. Now. The choice was, you know, do nothing or seek eternal punishment and damnation via Zercher squats. I went with the Zercher squat option. I just think it's better than doing nothing. You may think differently, but I'm actually not a pussy. So that's the goal. We're gonna work towards a 300 kilogram Zercher squat. I'm gonna give myself eight to 10 weeks to get there. We're gonna start today with a heavy pause single. We'll test out my adductor. The reason I can do this movement um, and not a low bar is just loads the body a bit differently. I don't have to load my hips as much. It's more quadriceps and back, which is also excellent for deadlifts, building a nice big strong fucking back, right? So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, but uh, I'll take my uh, pre-workout. And just a little note, guys, if you are located in Australia, which is I think like 30 or 40% of you, and you need some pre-workout, some protein, we've got you covered. Hercules Sups, I'm gonna drop the code here for you. Uh, you get a 10% discount. They do phenomenal protein, pre-workouts, etc. But most importantly, remember, a dry scoop a day keeps the boys away from your butt. So when I dry scoop this, Mitchell over here isn't gonna come near my butt for the rest of the day at least, okay? <laughs> so it gives me a little bit of time, okay, to prepare myself. So. If you have the same problem, you know, especially if there's sumo deadlifters around your gym, they may be looking for you to fill their hole and that's not always a good thing either. Anyway, that's enough nonsense. Mm -mm -mm. So, remember, dry scoop your pre-workout and you'll be just fine. Strap in, this is gonna be a big fucking session. Let's get it. All right, gang, so first warm-up set. We're gonna start with 60 kilos today. I actually like to use a, a deadlift bar when I do Zercher squats. It is thinner and it does dig in deeper. So yes, it hurts a little bit more, but the plus side to that is it sits in the arm a little better and it makes it feel a little bit more secure. So if you ever wanna give these a crack, try using a deadlift bar or just a, a regular bar. Don't use a thick squat bar. I don't think it helps. But the plan, we'd like to go to at least five plates today, 220 kilos for a poor single. Um, you know, that's not a PR, but this is week one of this training block. So it's not about going as heavy as I can or trying to hit PBs today. You know, I'm trying to hit 300 kilos in eight to 10 weeks. So my training from now needs to be planned. And, and obviously I need to think about setting myself up for the next week, each week, right? these sessions don't really matter in the grand scheme. So what I hit now 
is it important? It's not as important as what I hit on that final week. So there's no point coming in here and being a little overzealous trying to lift too heavy if it's gonna set me back, you know, for that peak, which is what's the most important thing is about this training cycle. <clears throat> so I'll explain more about that as we go because I think that's the big thing that we see is people overreaching. I talk about it all the time, people overreaching and it really doesn't help their cause in the gym. But let's get started. 60 kilos, we'll do a set of five reps with a pause. Let's get it, baby. Oh, it's been a while, my friend, but you're back in my arms. Let's go. Easy peasy, as it should be. We'll make 40 kilo jumps, we'll go 100 kilos next, and then we'll chat. I'll talk about, you know, I guess, some of the real pros you can get out of doing Zercher squats. And I'm also gonna tell you some of the, some of the nasty things that come along with it, because it's a man maker. It separates the men from the boys, this one, baby. You can't hide from it. You can't hide from it. And uh, just like Jakey and Mitch, can't hide from me. I'm coming for you. You better watch yourself. Let's go. All right, baby. We've got 100 kilos on the bar. Quickly, you know, some of the great benefits of doing a Zercher squat beyond just the obvious of building mental and physical toughness, it does have the ability to build an extremely strong and big upper back. Okay, now, a lot of people think that when we're doing a Zercher squat, it's putting a lot of pressure on the biceps. That is false. If you think about where the bar is sitting, it's sitting in the elbow crease, which is close to our body, close to our center of gravity. If we're holding the barbell here, trying to do it, away from our body, yes, our bicep would be loaded. It would be extremely unpractical and you wouldn't be able to handle very much weight. So the weight is actually pulling down over your traps and your upper back. So what's stopping you from doing this is your upper back muscles, okay? So that's why this is an excellent exercise for building a truly terrifying upper back. And I fucking mean that. The people that I've seen that are capable of doing heavy Zercher squats have fucking barn doors as backs. And that's no coincidence. 100 kilos, we'll go a set of, uh, a set of four with pauses. Let's go. Oosh. Easy peasy. We have 140 next. 308 pounds. She's very close to my body weight at the moment. I'm a bit skinny for my liking. I should probably eat some more food. Are you Jackie boy? Jackie boy is doing some squats. You got comp this week, next weekend? Not next weekend, next week after. Like 13 days. Let's get it, boy. All right, gang. So, as great as Zercher squats are, there is also we we'll call it a downside, but there are something or some things that are extremely challenging about them, all right? Now, because of where we're holding the bar, it sits across our diaphragm, you know? So it's very, very difficult to breathe when you have heavy weight coming down, crushing your diaphragm, right? So what it tends to do is that when I find that when there's a heavy weight, and you're trying to step back, it's very difficult to actually get any oxygen in. So I try to take my breath, hold it. I'll let a little bit of air out, like a little decompression of air, which stops me wanting to pass out. And then I kind of drop into the squat. Now, the only time that I can actually breathe during a Zercher squat is in that slight moment at the top where I'm coming up and I start to go down again where that bar kind of releases pressure off my stomach as I change direction. That is the only time I can get a breath. So in that sense, it's a fucking nightmare, but it's also a lovely dream, I guess. Depends on you as a person. I'm kind of fucked up, as I said. I do enjoy the pain and I do enjoy the challenge that it presents because it is like a game of chicken sometimes. If you're doing rep work, 
you sometimes black out. You can't see shit, but you just you just keep going. You just keep repping. You just trust yourself. Keep trying to get as much air in as you can and hope for the best. But it is what it is. I'll take a minute. I'm going to hit 140. And uh, then we'll start getting to some serious numbers. Let's go. All right, gang. I'm going to do that 140 now. Got my belt on. Means business. But no, you know, as always, I do have to switch on now. It's only 140 kilograms. As I said, this is an extremely difficult squat variation. My PR with the Zercher squat is 280 kilograms, you know, and my PR with the back squat is 415 kilograms. So as you can see, quite a disparity in those numbers. That is purely because this is such a difficult movement, okay, where we're holding the barbell changes things completely, okay? It's a, you've done a front squat before, this is another step up above a front squat, it's a lot harder. Um, and as I always said, it's a little more satisfying for me. I like the pain, I like how it hurts so good. Your mama knows what I mean. She's into some nasty shit, but she's a lovely woman, respectfully, of course. Sharing Jake. Jakey, it's all right, mate. Did you dry, did you dry scoop today? Did you dry scoop today? I did, just keep you waiting. He's lucky, he's lucky. Or he'd fucking be no getting away from me, mate. All right, let's go. We'll go three reps with a pause. Easy peasy. Now, when I put the barbell down, that is where it feels like you want to faint. So you get all the blood, you know, rushes back through your uh, through your body. Once you take the weight off your body and undo your belt, get a nice blood rush to the head. But it normally settles down after five or ten seconds. But if you're lucky, you might see me pass out sometime. If you're lucky, we'll go 170 next. Let's get it. All right, gang. Now, you know, as I said before, it uh, would have been very easy for me to simply have a break from squats. You know what I mean? Because it can be very frustrating when we feel like we can't be doing, as I say, exactly what we want to be doing all the time, but that's just not how it works. Injuries happen, things happen, and you may feel like it's taking you away from your goal. But soon you will realize there's many, many different paths that lead to the place you want to go. And you just have to open your eyes and identify that, right? If one door closes, other doors open. You just got to look for them and you got to have the fucking balls to step forward through because it's not always going to be easier. Sometimes it's the fucking hard way, but it's always sweeter in the end, you know what I mean? It's always sweeter to taste victory after you've had your setbacks, you know, after you've been a fucking up against it all. It just feels better, it tastes better. Hmm. Anyway, 170 now. We'll do singles, pauses. After this, I think we'll go to 200, but we've got to justify that, right? This is gonna be fucking easy. This is where the breathing becomes real difficult for me as well. <coughs> Let's go. That's how you do it, baby. So I am moving with a fair bit of control on the way down as I'm making sure that I'm not loading my hip in a way that's gonna fuck me. And then I explode out of the hole like a motherfucker. Ask your mum. Let's go. All right, so this will be my last warm up. 200 kilograms paused. Now I wanted to explain to you why I'm choosing to do a paused pause Zercher squat instead of a regular Zercher squat for my top set. Now, because I haven't done these in quite some time, and my idea today is to establish roughly where I'm at at the moment, right? But a good way to do that is to add a pause. This means it's gonna limit, you know, the amount of weight that I can actually handle today, because I dare say I could handle a bit more without a pause, but that's not always a good thing. It's week one, okay? We just wanna get an idea of where we're at we get a bit of stimulus, okay, for that top set, and then the money in the bank is the back down work, okay? But 
I like using pauses for top sets on other lifts as well, you know, whether it be deadlifts, uh, even back squats. It reduces the amount of load you can possibly handle, which I will repeat, is sometimes a good thing because it's not always good to lift as heavy as you can. But it is good to get the stimulus and to work hard. We don't just have to lift heavy aimlessly all the fucking time. All right, baby. Let's get it. Come on, motherfucker. 200. Little pause. I think I smoked this shit. We're gonna earn that top set. Come on. I'm okay, I'm okay. As I said, not too difficult. Uh, the weight is fine, but it's the sensation that you get, especially afterwards. And whilst you're trying to set up for the actual squat, it's a pain in the ass and it's fucking a bit of a struggle, but we get there. So 200 kilo final warm up. We'll go five plates, we'll go 220 for our top set. That's a good plan. Let's go. All right, gang, five plates on the bar for my top fucking set. And our goal is to make this look as easy as possible. Although it is a top single, it is not a max single. I would like to have at least 15, maybe 20 kilograms in the tank, even considering that it's a pause, right? Now, the sensation and the pressure of a Zercher squat can make it feel a lot more difficult than it is. That's why it's always good to watch your videos back and see how the weight actually moves when you lift it. Because, you know, the different sensations you feel can be a little misleading, all right? And do me a favor, while you're fucking here, like this video, <laughs> drop a comment and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. I also have my, uh, my Patreon, so if you're a, you know, a regular viewer of Cult Strength and you like what I do, then please consider heading to my Patreon. It costs you less than a cup of coffee a week. You get exclusive content, but it's different to the content on YouTube. It's definitely more based around mindset and mentality and sharpening our mental tools. So it's more of a sit down and, and have a chat type of situation. We also got the memberships on here. I appreciate anyone who's jumped on and joined up to the Disciple membership on my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and it allows me to keep making these videos you love so much. And I love making them too, right? I love training, I love doing tutorials. You know, not every single video that I do, I may, you know, might not have information for you, but I'm still gonna have a good session, we're still gonna have a good time. And any time that I feel like I need to share something with you, well, you know I'm gonna make a video. We've got plenty of good content coming out very soon. Now, the really exciting thing is, in a few days, the Deadlift Destroyer program is coming out. I'll be dropping that on my next deadlift day. So that's exciting. Keep your eyes out for that. A lot of you have been asking for programs. I do have my bench press program available, the Barbarian Bench Press program on my website, coltstrength.square.site. That website will be continually updated over the next few weeks as I look to add some merch and some more programs. I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna get myself ready for this because, you know, yes, it's not a max single, but you have to respect this weight and you definitely have to respect this actually this actual movement okay it's a very difficult movement and there's a lot of risks you know that come with this you know so we've got to respect it we've got to switch on but then ultimately we disrespect it by moving it like it weighs nothing full circle let's go all right baby it's fucking game time it's the main event for today 220 kilo pause zercher squat and we're gonna make fucking easy work of this shit, baby. Let's go! Come on! Ha. Let's get it, baby. Ha. Ooh. I accidentally did a double. This happens sometimes. It was still very easy though. That's actually a PB. I've never pause squatted with a Zercher 
more than 220, let alone for two reps. So considering I haven't done it in a long time, that's good. I'm getting stronger all around, baby. We'll take a minute and we'll chat because we've got, we've got to do the hard work still. That's the easy work. Anyone can do that, right? That's the back down work now. That's gonna suck. Let's go. All right, gang, so I accidentally did a double there. It wasn't really an accident, but it was still well within, you know, the realm of difficulty that I was looking for. 220 was maybe a little undershoot in terms of uh, being within 15 to 20 kilos of my one rep max. So instead of having to go heavier, I just did an extra rep and I definitely left, you know, one to two reps in the tank. So that's still relatively comfortable for what I was trying to do today. So the money in the bank now, the hard work is my rep work. I'm gonna do two sets. I've got 180 on the bar. Now my goal is six to eight reps, keeping in mind that I need to leave at least two reps in the tank, but it wouldn't hurt if I left five reps in the tank, you know what I mean? So no more than eight reps, but no less than six reps. That's my goal for this, because I need to keep in mind, I have to progress each week for the next eight to 10 weeks. So if I start tapping out and maxing out my rep ranges this early, I'm really gonna make the rest of this you know, side quest uh, a lot more difficult than it needs to be. I need to maintain the same programming principles and that is to not overreach, to always leave room in the tank, you know, except for those times where you're planning on actually hitting closer to a max, right? We don't just do that willy nilly. We need to plan it and be responsible somewhat, somewhat. In saying that, fucking hell, sometimes the pan's hot and you gotta cook. Maybe you've had a bad day and you wanna throw some heavy shit around. But what I'm saying is there's still a way to do that without doing an absolute max, right? All right, set one. Let's go! No pauses for these one. Up and down. Let's go! Stay tight. Accidentally clipped the fucking, the rack, but it's okay. Eight reps. There's more in the tank, you know, weight-wise, it's not that difficult. Getting used to the conditioning and the sensation is a different story. We'll do one more set of eight, but I'll step back a little bit further and make my job too difficult, but more difficult than it had to be. Let's go. All right, baby. So our final set of fucking Zercha squats. Last set, best set. Make sure, if you haven't, if this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. If you've watched before, drop a comment and like this fucking video. Also, tell me what you wanna see in the next week or two in terms of the content that I'm making. We have a lot of ideas, a lot of things that I'm going to do, but your ideas always help. Let's get this. Let's go. Come on, dig in. Oh, goodness, a little wobble on my, uh, <laughs> Right knee, I think on the fifth or sixth rep, my arm came down and hit the inside of my leg a little bit too hard, but it's okay. We recovered. We'll take a minute and we'll chat, baby. Whew. All right, gang, so there's all the fucking Zercha squats done. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hit three sets of high volume leg press, okay, before I head off and do probably some leg extensions or something like that to blow my quads out. The Zercha squat is definitely very quadriceps dominant. I love it for building quad mass. You know, I think it's one of your best bang for buck quad builders because there is so much load through your quads on the Zercher squat. And that's because of where the bar is loaded, okay? It's more, over the, more forward than center of your body or your center of your body's mass. Um, so we're gonna hit three sets of leg press now, sets of 20. I'll go up a plate each set. So I'll start with five plates, do six plates next, seven plates for the last set. Again, these aren't crazy heavy or anything. 
This is volume acclim acclimation. This is week one of my side quest, so we need to leave room to progress each week, and that includes with accessories. So next week the plan might be, you know, six plates, seven plates, eight plates for three sets of 20. Small progression, you know, even for me, that's just over eight weeks or 10 weeks of accumulating progression, it fucking adds up. Okay, so be smart with your programming. I'm gonna just film the one set of this though, you know, so I'll say goodbye now, behave yourselves, go to the fucking gym and get some gains. But first, I'm doing this, and you can watch until I'm fucking finished. Ooh, let's go. Remember, full range of motion. That's important here. Definitely a burner, baby. Definitely a burner. See you later.